Hello, this is Skipper. I'm going to show you how to do a change detection on uh, Modus EVI imagery in ArcMap 10.0. Um, so I'm using the Modus 16 day imagery. Um, this is for North Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. Um, so this is what the Modus data arrives in. Dark areas are very low EVI scores, light areas are very high. Um, now it runs on a scale from 0 to 10,000, uh, whereas a normal EVI score runs on a scale of 0 to 1. So you can figure out what that means. Um, minus 3,000 is the number it applies to data that either hasn't got a value or is water. So I'm going to change that color scheme. Uh, I'm changing that to the color scheme that uh, you can get from the link down in the description of here. Um, this is the EVI color scheme used in the MODIS user guide. Uh, this is where I got it from. So this makes the values, well, it labels the values as uh, <coughs> easier to understand values. So a 1, yeah, very dark area, is uh, very high dense vegetation. A 0, well, a 0 is nothing. Uh, 0 0.2, like here, that's in Middlesbrough, so there's very little vegetation there, uh, very little of anything really. Um, 0 0.2, very low, well, reasonably low value, usually bare ground. The breakpoint of EVI is usually anything lower than 0 0.2 is considered bare ground, anything greater than 0 0.2 is uh, vegetation of one description or another. This differs from the NDVI, which has a breakpoint of 0.3. Um, because the NDVI tends to oversaturate when it gets the very dense vegetation. Uh, yes. So we're going to do a change detection here. So we're going to be using the tool called Image Analysis, <coughs> excuse me, which is uh, available under Windows up here, and then Image Analysis, which uh, little window looks like this, which I'm going to dock into that corner. So what we do in here is we select the two images. So it's the 2013 and the 2012 data. These are the two dates I'm going to use. And we use this tool here, which is difference. This creates a new layer, it's a temporary layer, which uh, is one taken away from the other. Um, you've got to check that it's done the right way around. You can do that by opening properties and then functions and then check the arithmetic function here, which is one away from the other, and uh, make sure it's the the older one taken away from, sorry, the newer one taken away from the older one. So this is the 2013 take away from the 2012 data. Otherwise you'll end up with it reversing that change. So what we want to do next is we want to add a new function which assigns a breakpoint to that, because this value is all great and well, nice dark decrease there, light increase there, that's great, but not particularly useful really. So we're going to apply a breakpoint. Now we do that by using this function tool here, add function. So on top of the arithmetic function, we're going to add a remap function, which is down here. Now since I said modus data, it runs from 0 to 10,000. Um, and minus, uh, whereas EVIs run from 0 to 1. So we're going to have to adjust accordingly. So if we're going to look for a change of plus or minus 0 0.4 EVI score, that's 4000 on the modus value. So as a breakpoint, 4000 seems like a good, uh, good number, which is 0 0.4, change of 0 0.4. So we're going to use that. So if it's decreased by more than 4000 modus or 0.4 EVI, then we want to know about it. If it's increased more than 4000 or 0.4, then we also want to know about it. So we're going to have those as our two breakpoints. So for a minimum, first we'll do the, the decrease. So as a minimum, we want the, the largest number down here, which is minus 11, 6, oh, 9, 6, 4. And the maximum, we're going to use the breakpoint 4000, so 0 0.4 EVI score. Type in four and minus four thousand. I'll have that as a one. Doesn't really matter what value, as long as you remember it. 
and then so if it's increased to more than 4,000 we also want to know about it so 4,000 up to the maximum there 12, 3, 8, 5 we'll have that as number 2 so we're going to change the missing values to no data so the bits between minus 4,000 and plus 4,000 we don't really need to know about there, no change so missing values to no data ok and run that so switch all that off this is our change detection with the thresholds now obviously the values of 2 so the increase areas are white because of this scale you can't see white on a white background so we're going to change that properties symbology unique values yeah sure whatever so plus that's an increase dark green one is a decrease red okay so that's the increase or decrease which is very nice but we want to refer it against something so here I've got a Landsat data um, this is just for you know where geographically things are located it's not to look specifically at the areas that have changed I'm not quite sure what the date for this Landsat image is it's Landsat 8 so it must be 2013 at some point so if we look here look these areas here dark red these areas have decreased by more than 0 0.4 EVI points so maybe it was 1 and now it's gone down to 0.6 doesn't matter anyway it's decreased rapidly big change this area here has increased uh, could be anything could be a field that was planted who knows anyways that's the tool uh, you can use it for all sorts of things uh, very useful conservation wise because you can see which areas have been logged on which areas are growing again so yeah that's how you do a change detection in ArcMap see you don't even need ERDAS um, this is a temporary file so you'll want to export that to a new file whatever it is wherever it is uh, otherwise when you close ArcMap you'll lose it anyways I hope that's useful to you um, yeah